Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm working on this old Lenovo and uh, the date and time won't hold so I'm thinking that the Cosmos battery is bad, that little 2032 cell so we're going to remove the keyboard and the front of the computer um, where the palm rest is so that we can get to that back. So I removed several of the batteries on the lower side because I don't want to take the whole cover off so I just need to do it on it. So I just took the, uh, several, the ones with, indicated with keyboard and then now we're going to flip it over, open it, and remove that cover. Alright, trying our best. We're going to pop this cover off on both sides to get to the keyboard for it to come off. Be careful because it is not the strongest piece of plastic. You might want to use a spudger. You just kind of work your way around. Alright, now we try to remove the keyboard, push up, and then it should come up, and then there's a ribbon cable, which this one I don't have to undo, and then now we want to get rid, um, take this lower cover off, and we should be, if I got all the screws, I hope, it should just come right off, if not, then we got to go back down and see what we got left, let's see. okay, let's check again on the bottom, alright, I left down two bolts, I made two screws on the bottom, so now this should just come right off, and we're going to leave it connected, and there is the battery that we need to work on. So, get a little spudger to take it off, and see if we can get that off. Right, let's try to... Alright, here's the battery. Um, it's a lithium cell and there's the part number but we're going to open it up and see what we can see on the inside oh, here we go okay so let's open it up and see um, All right, um, it says 32, so probably this is a 2032. It says Mitsubishi, and it's just. All right, so I'm taking a pair of hemostat, small one, and I'm just, you know, rolling it to peel off the uh, weld here, and it's working. And then we're gonna do the uh, other side as well. This is the negative side. There's one, and we'll do the other side. All right, I'm gonna use the electric welder and put a spot on this one here we go let's so i got it on auto set so we'll see let's see how much of a shock i get all right so i'm gonna try to squeeze it into some heat shrink if i can i don't know if it's gonna even work because this is the biggest i got and I don't even think it's going to work. Um, okay, I'm going to have to get some bigger heat shrink to make this work. Hey everyone, um, I got my pieces in of the shrink wrap. Um, I got this size, red and black. I also got this one um, from Amazon. Not that much money, but I took one of their half inch ones and I cut it, I cut it as best I could in half. I put some... Uh, the high heat on uh, the high heat tape and then I stuck it in there and I'm going to now um, melt around it and hope for the best and hopefully that will keep it in place um, this is a new battery so and I tested the voltage on it so it was all good um, and so now we're just going to heat shrink it there's supposed to be a four to one shrink or a three to one shrink on these or some of like that I don't have my heat gun, so I'm going to use a light and hope for the best, okay? Here we go. Alright, there we go. That doesn't look too bad. Um, 
And now we're just going to let that cool off a little bit and then we'll put it back in the computer. Alright, now we're going to make the connection. Back in. There we go. And then we're just going to set it like it was just down here like this. And I think that'll be fine. Then we can put the palm rest back in. We'll just hopefully find the place. Put it together. Oops, something's in the way. Okay, we're gonna move it over. To, we're gonna move it over to the to the little hole here. Okay, and then we'll see. Even though it was right here for that piece, I don't know. It's it wants to be proud, so let's just leave it there. Okay, and then let's put the keyboard back in. Okay, yes, you just clip in and then slide back. Like so, that's good. Okay, and then this control. And then we'll put the, uh, we'll put the other pieces together and then put the control up. And then we will set the time on it. All right guys, um, here we go. This is the next day. We're going to boot it up for the first time. And I push the button and let's see if it holds the date from the other day. I set it last night after I was done. And let's see if it will boot in without giving us that error. And I think we're fine. So, looks like the CMOS battery is working. Okay, yeah, so we have a login. And I think we have a successful repair because we are no longer getting, I'm no longer getting the error, the date error, and the date is correct. Alright guys, thank you again for joining. Thanks for watching another video and have a wonderful day.